So it's about 11.30 at night on Thursday. I get a text from my brother Paul that says, what can we do to help? I've been sitting there without power in the dark for three days now, and we just got notice that there's going to be a citywide boil water notice. So now, while half the city doesn't have power, the entire city is losing access to water. So it's really kind of miraculous how this whole thing came together because at the end of the day, we're all just individuals. And I think that we, none of us really knew how we could help, but we all knew that we wanted to help. So reaching out to Minamoto. We got a text from CK in the middle of the night. He said, hey, can you get on a call? And I was like, it's 11.30, what could this be about? And uh, he just said he wants to distribute water. He needed a warehouse that could offload 18 wheelers and uh, a couple trucks. And, and he came his answer being anything you need. Getting a call from my friends MT and Donald, both saying, what in the world can we do? I heard that you were working on something. What can we do to help? You know, those words kind of ring in my brain a lot of times because asking those words first what can we do to help just really moved me because it's kind of like the uh, jump and the answer is how high. There was no question as to if they could help or if they wanted to. It was, what do you need from us? And everybody involved in this answered that same way. And that was really one of the most moving things I've ever experienced in my life because it was so effortless to get people involved. And then all we had to do was figure out where that piece fell, where their piece fell. And it was amazing to watch that happen kind of in real time and all this come together in a matter of hours, in the middle of the night. It was really wonderful. Taylor O'Neill, I'm the CEO of Richard Rainwater. We've mobilized a really great group of CPG companies here in Austin to help us take three truckloads full of rainwater out to the community in need. It's um, pretty incredible to see folks like Easy Tiger bringing six or so vans. Uh, we've got Good Pop here, we've got Tank Proof here, we've got Source Trap Cocktails. Uh, a whole handful of folks just from the community showed up to make sure that this water can get where it needs to go. And uh, we just feel very lucky to be part of a community doing the right thing to help a bunch of Texans. You know, what it comes down to at the end for me is this comes down to your heart. If you want to help, you'll find a way to help. And I think it all starts with us asking those, those, that question, what can we do to help? And to ask that question first and reach out to the people in your community and somebody will find a way for you to help. I think it's difficult to get paralyzed by this idea that these problems become so huge. You know, there was a, a saying that my mentor used to say to me back in the day that was, how do you eat an elephant? And the answer is one bite at a time. And I think this idea that this is so unsurmountable by any one person, you don't quickly realize that we're not one person. We are a community. And coming together, there's a way, even if you're just a pair of hands to load up a, pair, uh, a couple cases of water, or if you're somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, it's incredible to watch as the synergy kind of happens when you have everyone united on the same idea of just what can we do now?